Hi, I'm with Al Tenzel, amateur scientist and ham radio operator. He's going to tell us about meteor scatter. Hello, Al. Hello, Jeffrey. What is a meteor? A meteor is a particle that comes from outer space, enters the Earth's atmosphere, and sets up an ionized trail. And there are thousands of them every day. It's not just that they come once or twice a year during regularly scheduled meteor showers like the Leonids. There's millions of them. And they come very small, like grains of dust, or larger ones like pebbles. What is a scatter? Well, the scatter idea is like a reflection from that ionized trail of the radio wave. So we send a signal up to the meteor as it enters the Earth's atmosphere and, and creates a miles-long ionized path. And those signals are scattered back to the Earth by reflection, similar to the way light bounces off a regular mirror in your bathroom. Al, do you have to have a meteor shower to do meteor scatter? No, you don't need a meteor shower per se for scatter because there are millions of very small dust-sized meteors that are entering the Earth's atmosphere all the time. How does a radio signal bounce off a meteor? Well, just to give you an idea, let me illustrate how this happens in ham radio. If we're here on the Earth and we send up from our antenna a radio signal and it intersects the path of a meteor which is going across the sky, coming from outer space, and the meteor actually leaves a path, like a tube of ionized gas, which looks like that mirror in your bathroom. And these radio signals hit that, and then they bounce back, and they, so to speak, scatter back to other stations receiving them on Earth. How far can you communicate? Well, typically, amateur radio operators can communicate over distances of between 500 and 1,300 miles. They're always trying to do better, of course. But the government can easily go all the way across the country because it uses much more power. Thank you, Al. Thank you.